All right, so we just went through how you can use the dynamo to offset ellipses in a family, in a generic model family, but I'm going to show you how to do it in the project. So I have another little definition that works here. So I'm just going to go to a new um, Imperial Architectural project here, and I'm going to go to my manage and, and um, open up dynamo. Go ahead and let that get started, and I'll go to my architecture tab, and I'll go to wall, and I'm just going to create an ellipse wall again just keep it similar like 40 by 20. Now if you're using like if your ellipse is rotated or something I'd really recommend maybe using the um, the family version but you know if not then this one should work so I'm just going to come in after I do this and I'm going to go to architecture and model line and I'm going to draw a model line vertically from the quadrant to the quadrant because this is going to give us a way to find a midpoint to place this definition to start it because when you use a family you can move it around freely but this one needs a place to start it needs something to host to and I'm going to host it to this line so I'm going to go ahead and open up um, ellipse in project here and Basically what it does is it goes and selects the ceiling midpoint line. So whatever your line you're using to find the midpoint for the ceiling, um, go ahead and select that here. So there's a little select option. So I'm just going to go to select and I'm going to select that line, right? And it's going to start the run and you're going to see it start and it will crank through this stuff. And there's a few things that are going to look a little funny. Um, one is that we're looking at level one and it's actually created it if we go to the 3D view. It's created it, but it's created the long version in the horizontal, in the X and the short. And it's, it's kind of mirrored it on itself. Um, and so what we want to do is we kind of want to flip the X and the Y axis to accommodate this. Um, if we didn't have... Uh, if, we, if it actually was in this orientation, we would have to create a reference plane that we could select that would flip the mirror line. So if you need to do that, let me know. We can talk about that. Um, so basically what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to flip the X and the Y radius. So we have our code block here, the numbers that are setting up the start, end, and the step. And I'm just going to take this X times 2. And I'm going to put that instead of into the X, I'm going to put it into the Y. And it'll make a circle now, right? So now I've got a circle. And then I'll just take this one and put it into the X, right? And it'll sort of flip that. Right, so now it's, you know, the short is going... The short version here is going in the X and the long is going in the Y. And then I can come in and adjust this. It's 20 feet wide, so I'm actually going to make it 19 is the end of it. And the step, I'm just going to make one. So it's going to bump every foot. And then if I come in here, you'll see it'll update. Right, and now those lines are inside that wall. Now, the main thing is that it's on the floor and we don't really want it on the floor. So I'm going to go to my south elevation. And if you'll remember, we hosted it on that line. So I'm going to pick around everything and I'm going to go to my filter and I'm going to get rid of the structural framing because I don't need that. I need the line and I'm going to move it up to where I want it to be. Now, the line is is associated with level one, but you can get rid of the constraint and leave the disjoin on. And I'm just going to pick it and move it up nine feet. Okay, and when you do that, it actually breaks the definition because it loses track of where that line is. So the line is moved out of its plane. So you just need to select the line again, and it'll run through its process, and the ceiling will appear at that line. Right, it's take a minute to run through it. And then there you've got that. Now, I didn't have the 2x6 loaded, so it's actually used a wide flange structural framing. So I'll go ahead and load my 
two by six, right? And then I'll come into my definition over here and flip that out, right? And if I do that, it'll crank through it again. And then you've got that guy, right? And then you can just come in and update this as you need. If I go to my ceiling plan level one, um, if I, I need to go to medium, and for some reason, I don't know why, but in the ceiling plans, it turns off the structural framing, which I find annoying, but whatever. So now you see you've got, got that guy in there, and then you could go in and obviously adjust any of these and sort of work it out that way. All right. So maybe you'll use it, maybe you won't. I don't know.